Welcome to this video lecture. We're going to be drilling in a little bit more into machine learning. In module 9 specifically we're going to be talking about artificial neural networks. But first I just wanted to introduce a couple of useful tools for when you're looking at data that has complex relationships. So specifically we're going to be uh, talking about a Python based tool called Seaborn. And the, in, in Seaborn there's this nice feature called a pair plot. And this is just a really uh, nice way of doing a very high level screening so you can look at your data uh, pretty quick and easy. Um, so we're going to start out with uh, generating this pair plot. The data that we'll be looking at is going to be coming from this uh, module9data.csv. If you want to follow along with the video, um, there is a link to download this same data file that is just in the video description. Uh, specifically, we've got about a thousand data points with four inputs, so x1 through x4, and then we have two outputs, y1 and y2. And certainly you can see just glancing through the data, it's, it's really hard to make any conclusions or understand how these variables are related to each other. So we're just going to go very quickly and introduce this concept of a, a pair plot and show you how to use this tool. So the toolboxes we will need in Python are pandas. So we're just going to import pandas as pd. And then we're going to import this tool seaborn as sb. We're going to go ahead and run this. We are going to use the pandas utility to import that CSV file, that module9data.csv. We're going to import that as a data frame. And we're just going to call that data frame uh, variable plant data. So we'll go ahead and import it there. And I, this next command is super simple. Using the Seaborn tool, we're going to generate a pair plot of the plant data. And as you recall, the plant data had labels on top. That was the x1, x2, uh, x3, x4, y1, and y2. So those labels are retained in our pandas data frame and all the way through into our pair plot. So I run this command, and I just want to show what this outputs. Um, so the pair plot uh, is a large matrix. All right, so here's how that pair plot looks. Again, this is a just a really quick, really nice utility. And what this pair plot does is it puts all of our variables on the y-axis and also on the x-axis, and then it generates a scatter plot capturing every variable and its relationship to all other variables. So I'll zoom in a little bit here and hopefully you can see this a little bit better. So we have x1 on top. Here in this uh, first row and first column, x1 is just matched up against itself. So rather than plotting x1 against itself, instead what they do is they give us a histogram of the x1 data. So you can see x1 has a fairly uniform distribution. Going over, um, we have now x1 on the y-axis versus x2 on the x-axis, and you can see how x1 relates to x2. So here, ne next one over, this is how x1 relates to x3. So you can see that uh, there are some pretty strong relationships here between x1 and x2. So this one is certainly a nonlinear relationship with a reasonably tight grouping of data. x1 versus x3 um, looks a little bit less certain. There's a lot more noise in this data set, but we do see a, what looks like a mostly linear relationship here. Again, here we're looking at x1 versus x4. This is x1 versus uh, y1, and this is x1 versus y2. So if we did the same thing, we have going down the column. So here we have x1 now on the x-axis. And we can take a look at x1 on the x-axis versus x2 on the y-axis. And notice that these two plots, it's the same data. We've just swapped the axes. So you could really get all the information you needed by just looking at kind of this upper diagonal part of it. Um, it sort of depends on how you want to look at the data. Uh, we're going to be getting into developing some nonlinear machine learning models using artificial neural networks. And specifically with this data set, what we will ultimately want to do is to uh, plot or to predict two outputs, y1 and y2, as a function of all four of our inputs. So we could zoom in on just those y uh, rows. So here we can look at y2 versus all of the inputs here. So we would expect 
Y2 to have some pretty strong relationships and some strong correlation with X1, also with X2, maybe not quite of a strong relationship with X3, but still a reasonably very a reasonably strong relationship, and then also X4. Uh, Y1 here would be our other variable, but this this Seaborn tool gives us a really nice way of just taking a first glance at that data rather than pouring through the CSV file or even trying to generate plots one by one in Excel or Python. Uh, Seaborn just gives you a really nice quick look at all this data with just that one command line. So it is a very useful tool.